We got details about the 2015 Subaru WRX and STI before the LA Auto Show. Mercedes says peace out to their SLS AMG with the black and red special edition. Subaru reveals another sexy coupe concept and a PlayStation Gran Turismo 6 inspired Mercedes is revealed plus what AK? Commenter of the week. That is right. What's up everybody? I'm Derek D and you are watching Fastlane Daily. It's Monday. A racing game like Gran Turismo 6 is pretty special to the gaming world, but it's also pretty significant to the automotive world as well. That's why Mercedes builds a special supercar concept exclusively for GT6. It's called the AMG Vision Gran Turismo, which you can see right here. It's super low, wide, and long. Is that what she said? Mm. I don't know. Of course, that is only a scale model and won't be produced. But Mercedes and a few other automakers, including Alfa Romeo, Nissan, and SRT, have spent some solid time and effort to make some pretty badass cars for this video game. The concept uses a 577 horsepower V8 engine and weighs just over 3,000 pounds, which I find funny because all those numbers aren't even true because the car isn't even real. It actually weighs nothing. It's not real. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, I find that funny. Looks cool, though. It's very silvery. Subaru took the wraps off what it's calling the Legacy Concept, a coupe design that is remarkably similar to the WRX concept we saw earlier this year in a few ways. But hold on a second here. Look at this one picture. It looks like it's a two-door coupe, but all the rest of the pictures have another line in the back that makes it look like a four-door coupe. Something's not adding up. That's all I'm saying with these pictures anyway. But uh, Subaru failed to bring this new style into the WRX, the new WRX, so I would imagine a legacy looking like this isn't coming anytime soon. That's why when Subaru says the legacy concept will preview future legacy models, they pretty much mean further down in the future, the not very soon future. Are you following? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now don't get me wrong, I think the concept here looks great, but this design, it's probably not even going to get close to production trim, you know, at least in the near future anyway. Right. right. So what do you guys think? Give Subaru another chance? Or basically, it doesn't matter what we think because they'll do whatever they want and we'll just watch it happen. Probably that second one. I think it's the latter. Yeah. Totally. If you didn't know already, the Mercedes SLS AMG sports car is on its way out. But before the magnificent go-winged model leaves town for good, Mercedes is sending it off with a final edition, dubbed appropriately the SLS AMG GT Final Edition. Pretty literal name there, huh, Mercedes? The new, uh, the new car, sorry, gets a special two-tone paint scheme, black and red. That's my high school colors, AK. Mm. Nice. But the mechanics remain unchanged. That means the 6.2 liter V8 will still ride on 583 horses. Only 350 of these final edition models will be made, and it'll be in LA later this week. So, uh, you know, we'll probably give you guys a gander of it in person at the LA Auto Show later on in the week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of the LA Auto Show, the new WRX is going to be there, but it looks like we'll have to wait until the Detroit Auto Show to see the STI trim. But details about the car's engines have been scooped. The WRX will use a 2-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, making 265 horsepower and 243 pound-feet of torque. Meanwhile, the STI will use a 2.5-liter turbo four-cylinder to produce 304 horsepower and how much torque? Nick! 290. 290. Got to get on that mic there, right? Say it again, 290. 290. There you go. Good there job. There you go. These are almost identical figures to the current generations, but the WRX will also be offered with a CVT transmission in addition to the normal manual, which, which I guess is a bit odd. But uh, there may also be a new torque vectoring braking system to improve handling. So, hmm. nice. Right. But that being said, okay. do you guys know what time it is? Joe knows. Come on, Joe. Joe. Come up to the microphone. It's Commenter of the Week. Yeah. Nice. Whew, that was nice. strong. Nice. That was strong. Commenter of the Week. Comment our show. Yeah, Commenter of the Week. Comment. Oh, that was a crescendo. Yes. Nice. I like that. All right, we got commenter Charles McNestry. That's, uh, that's his name. Okay. Because you know, on YouTube now, people use his real name. And he has a question for me, and he said, Derek D., 
I'm going to turn the tables and ask you a question of my own. If that's cool with you, mm. it is. Do you happen to know why the word whip is often used as a slang word to refer to a sweet ride? In other words, what is the logical connection between a whip and a car? Thanks, Derek D. FLD always brightens my day, even when it's a sh** one. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Wow. I think that's how he talks. The guy's very animated. Yeah, he's an animated guy. All right, Charles, or can I call you Chuck? Chuckster. <laughs> yeah. Of course you can ask me a question. I get asked questions all the time. Just this morning, someone was randomly, randomly was like, excuse me, which way is Ninth Avenue? And I was like, so, yeah, it happens. Anyway, let me first say that there really isn't any logical connection between an actual whip, yeah, you know, like the one Indiana Jones uses, and a car. But there are a few reasons for this. The most popular one is that when steering wheels were first being used, they were also called the whip. Reason being because a whip used to control the horses on a carriage or a stagecoach. So you could see the connection there. Another reason is that with a whip, you kind of use, you know, this motion, like... <laughs> We get a sound effect in there? Yeah. So, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of all over the place, right? Yeah. So I guess it started when people would say something along the lines of, uh, so just whip your car around and park over there. Or say you're driving on a track or empty parking lot or something, and you're just whipping the car around all over the place like you would whip, whip around, I guess, you know? Lastly, rappers started using the term to describe expensive cars. Both. But whip basically now can refer to any car, expensive or not. So that is the correlation between a whip and a car. I hope that helps, Charles. Chuck, glad I could uh, clear that up for you. Keep those comments coming, everyone. We appreciate it, right? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, our FLD question of the day is related to that comment of the week. What other car slang do you guys use? Could be anything to do with a car. It doesn't have to be... Just another word for a car. Be interesting to see uh, what you folks come up with. You know what I mean? The FLD community. Yeah. I have a feeling we're going to see some funny comments. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D. And remember, you could send in your own to tips at fastlanedaily.com. Send us a link, tweet it at us, Facebook at us. We'll check it out. We might use it in the show. All right? That's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. And uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Max, you had a question? Oh, um, when you travel, are you going to be wearing a hat? Uh... I might. Probably, yes. The dude abides, AK. Good movie. I know I wore the shirt before. Oh, dude. You wore that before. It's crazy. You can wear a t-shirt more than once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize until just, like, recently. Yeah. That could happen. There we go. Action, Derek V. Okay, okay, that's how it is.